Hello there and welcome to the next video in my Citroen Relay van build series. Today I'm just going to do a, a very quick video to show you what I've done uh, with my solar panels and how I have fitted them. So let's do it now. So I, I must confess I didn't uh, film any of, uh, any of this, so apologies for that, but it was a baking hot day and it really was just a case of screwing these down to the top of the van. So I've you've got uh, three uh, Renogy 160 watt panels. So I've got one at the front here um, in front of the Max fan, as you can see. And then going back, I've got uh, one on this side, one on the other side and uh, my uh, cable uh, inlet is in the middle there um, so it's a bit of a bit of a puzzle uh, up on the roof here but i needed to fit them around uh, my first uh, max fan at the front my micro hecky uh, which is where the bathroom is and a max fan at the back uh, over the top of the beds um, so i've had to sort of separate the three uh, like this now because I've done that it wasn't really possible to make any kind of rack um, or, or roof rack system for these to go on so I've had to actually just screw them straight down to the uh, to the roof so let me show you on this uh, front one what I've actually done uh, so I fixed the uh, brackets that come from Renogy uh, to the side um, I've positioned the brackets and adjusted the where they are so they sit on the uh, on the high part of the van not in the uh, in the troughs uh, for obvious reasons and uh, I've just actually screwed them down with uh, with these uh, which I got from screw fix so it's a self drilling uh, screw uh, with a rubber um, uh, washer already uh, attached so they went uh, down through there and then uh, simply put some uh, uh, Sikaflex uh, 522 uh, or 512 whatever it is uh, underneath uh, loads of splodge around there and then splodged over the top of the screws as well uh, so I'm quite comfortable that that's going to be nice and uh, watertight and uh, when it is raining of course the water is going to run down these troughs as opposed to on the top there so uh, shouldn't be too much of a problem uh, I've connected these in series so you can see a cable coming from this one which goes into the next one and then goes off to the to the one at the back there and uh, the only bit really where the cable is visible is from this uh, front one to the back one here um, so what I'm going to do I think is find some method of fixing that next up next to the max fan there again so it's not dangling down in the trough there in the water just uh, I'll get a couple of uh, sticky uh, cable clips I think and just uh, stick that up there or I might even run a little bit of uh, conduit along there you know sort of self adhesive that will stick onto the onto the, the van there and again that might just protect it from the sun as well the front one I've managed to get the brackets on the sides uh, the two further back here uh, because it was so close to the uh, to the edge of the van um, it wasn't possible to do that and I'd be screwing into the lower point here which I wasn't very happy about so I've had to relocate the brackets to the to the two ends um, so I fixed them again on the uh, high part of the of the, the van there as you can see and uh, I was a little bit worried about having them on the ends that these were going to bend and flex but actually they're pretty stiff and uh, I don't think that's going to move anywhere I think that's absolutely fine the other one the other end was done exactly the same way um, all the MC4 connectors and the cables are all tucked up under underneath here and uh, zip tied underneath so they're protected from the sun and the elements and out of the way and uh, and then the the cables go into the uh, the van using a, a cable inlet uh, in the middle there let me go around the other side and uh, get you a closer look at that one okay so here we are around the uh, the other side so you can see my uh, cable inlet there now and again I've got that uh, up on one of the high points uh, of the van and uh, a good load of Sikaflex uh, all the way around I do need to uh, get up there and just finish that off with uh, some methylated spirits just to clean up the the mess off the top of that one uh, but that's a, a small job and again you can see same method here Sikaflex underneath the bracket, bolts down through, and then a nice load of splodge over the top. Um, yeah, it's not the prettiest, but uh, no one's going to see it up here. And of course, I just want to make sure it's nice and waterproof. So that is uh, how this looks from the top on this side. 
So the only place there's any real extensive uh, of cable uh, showing is uh, is that red and black one that we saw over there just now. So that's the only one really I need to uh, to tidy up. Everything else, as you can see here, there's only a tiny little bit uh, visible. The rest of it is all up underneath the solar panels, uh, zip tied up out of the way. So it's uh, nice and tidy. So this is where the two cables uh, come in, which is in the middle of the van. Um, I know it looks a bit of a Sikaflex mess up there, but uh, I wanted to make sure this was nice and waterproof. And uh, the cables actually come through some little uh, plastic inserts in here. You can't really see them now because they're all sicker flexed up. But uh, what I used there is I went to B&Q and in the electrical section, they sell what's called a coaxial cable uh, uh, cable tidy uh, and it's a, a plastic disc with a, a, a sort of down section on it uh, which is designed for coax cable which uh, by chance is exactly the same diameter as a uh, solar panel cable so uh, two of those side by side sicker flexed from the from the top and then this little piece of plastic sticking down that's going to stop those from rubbing against the the metal of the van uh, so that's done the job perfectly there and then these cables, at the moment, just cable tied up until we uh, finish that off. They come round, tuck in behind uh, here, not worrying about uh, a conjurer there because these corners are all rounded off. Comes along, uh, down through there. I just need to uh, wrap a bit of conduit around uh, that connection there because that one is a little bit sharp. I've uh, just got some uh, electrical tape in there at the moment, but I will put something a bit more substantial there. Um, they work their way down, down through the back of the rib there. Again, don't need to worry too much about that because the, the edges of those uh, holes are all sort of rounded. Um, so that's not going to uh, rub at all. Down through here, again, same here. These edges are rounded, go straight down through that uh, rib and out into my uh, cable spaghetti at the bottom. Uh, that won't be cable spaghetti much longer because I'm gonna be doing my electrics fairly soon. And then what I've done, just to uh, stop any problems, because obviously those panels now up on the roof are creating uh, voltage, is I've just uh, uh, electrical taped the end of the positive one just to uh, stop that touching anything and uh, giving me any trouble. So, solar panels, there we go, that's what I've done. I don't know whether that's right or wrong. Do let me know your thoughts down in the comments. That will be interesting to read. Uh, so that bit of it's pretty well done. So on the electrical side of things, we're almost ready to actually start putting some of this stuff together, especially down in that uh, back corner there where that spaghetti jumble is. And uh, anyway, that's going to come in another video. That's it for this one, nice and simple. Hope you've enjoyed. Remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.